the iconic Arduino R3 has a new and power-packed revision. The Arduino Uno R4, it's got more memory, a faster processor, and a number of new features. The Arduino R4 is the perfect board for beginners still, just like the Arduino R3 was, but also for people who want to create powerful and sophisticated projects with all the ease of use and the fun of using the Arduino ecosystem. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. So a couple weeks ago, Arduino sent me a box and supposedly it's got the new Arduino R4 in it. Let's check this out. Oh, oh, cool. So why a new Arduino revision? Why R4? According to Arduino, they said the community at large was asking for improvements on the Rev3. There were certain things like that giant AB USB cable that you had to steal from your roommate's printer, the limited amount of SRAM and flash memory that you might run into for larger projects. So Arduino obliged on all those requests and I think delivered a pretty nice revision of that iconic R3. As you wish. Now revision four actually has two models. One is called the Arduino Uno R4 Minima, that's this one right here, and the other one is the Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi, which will use an expressive S3 Wi-Fi module in addition to the new Renesas microcontroller. So what's the difference between the R3 and the R4? Well, let's take a look at some of the technical specs. So the big difference is the microcontroller that's being used. The Arduino Uno R4 uses an RA4M1 ARM Cortex-M4. It's a 32-bit processor. The Arduino Uno uses that at Mega 328P, which is an 8-bit processor. You can see the clock speed for that new chip on the R4 is 48 megahertz compared to the 16 megahertz on the Arduino Uno. So that's a big step up. We've gotten rid of that bulky USB-B connector on the Arduino Rev3, and they've gone to the USB-C for the connector. Now, as far as the pinout goes, it's really pretty similar. And in fact, the footprint has stayed the exact same, which we'll talk a little bit more about in a moment here. But you still have 14 digital I.O. pins, six pulse with modulation pins, six analog input pins. But now on the R4, one of the pins is able to use a 12-bit digital to analog converter, a DAC, for analog output, which is pretty neat. Now, this part I'm a little fuzzy on yet, but the Arduino Uno R3 had two hardware interrupt pins. It looks like, as far as I can tell from the documents I've seen so far, that there may be as many as 14 external interrupt pins on the Arduino Uno R4, which would be pretty cool. The R4 also has a CAN bus. The flash memory on the R4 has gone up by 8x to 256 kilobytes, and the SRAM has increased 16x to 32 kilobytes. So you can see the big difference here is the processor. You get a ton more memory and you get to ditch that bulky USB-B connector. So these are the differences, but what I really like about the R4 is what has stayed the same. It really appears to me that Arduino has thought hard about the hardware compatibility between the R4 and its predecessor, the R3. So I think what hasn't changed is probably just as important as what has changed. So first off, the Rev4 has a five volt operating voltage just like the Rev3. Plus the footprint is the exact same. So it should be able to fit any shield that you had for a previous revision. Now Arduino has also made software compatibility a big priority for the R4. And so most existing code libraries and examples that work with the R3 should be a seamless switch to the Uno R4. There's always gonna be exceptions, guaranteed but it really looks like an effort has been made for the switch to be pretty easy. I've learned so much about microcontrollers using this board. Why do I need anything else? But you know, they sent me an R4 early and I started checking it out. And I have to say, I think they've done a good job with the revision. You know, Arduino has always been kind of on the ball aesthetically, and that hasn't changed with the R4 Uno. It just kind of looks pretty neat. It's got a cool solder mask, the plastic headers have this super useful feature of having the pin description written on both sides and even some really small details like the heart-shaped solder point next to the open source's love I think is pretty neat and just, I don't know, something about those details make me like it. And if you look closely at the part layout, you can easily see that the square and compasses design has been incorporated. 
So is our friend the Arduino R3 dead? I say a resolute no. Arduino's already made it clear that they're gonna to continue to support the Arduino Uno R3. It's gonna be available and supported for people who wanna work on an 8-bit AVR microcontroller. Like I mentioned previously, the Arduino Uno R3 has built up such a following that sunsetting it would really be a huge loss. Instead, now you'll just have more options to choose from with that Arduino form factor. So you might be asking yourself, okay, this is great, but who is this R4 for? Well, that's a great question. I'd say if you're brand new to Arduino, then hey, an Arduino R4 is a good fit. Though, I'd probably make the exact same statement about the Arduino Uno R3. It's also a great board for beginners. It might help teach you a little bit more about programming in constrained environments, which isn't such a bad thing to learn about. But uploading code, writing code, connecting circuits for the R4 and the R3 is going to be nearly identical, aside from selecting a different board in the Arduino IDE. It's just with the Arduino Uno R4, you're gonna get a lot more performance packed in. So I'd say the R4 is ideal for beginners and also if you have a more advanced project that you wanna use that Arduino form factor. So it's got a pretty big spectrum of use. Now I mentioned at the beginning that the Arduino Uno R4 has two models, the Minima and the Wi-Fi. Now I got the Minima early, I'm getting a Wi-Fi one shipped to me here shortly, and we will do a follow-up video on the Wi-Fi version. The Arduino Uno R4 Wi-Fi is gonna be using the Expressif S3 Wi-Fi module. So if you've ever heard of like an ESP32 or an ESP8266, that same company that makes those Wi-Fi modules is going to be on this board in addition to that renaissance processor you can check out the video on the arduino r4 wi-fi right here